all, it's your girl Maria, and this is why am I reacting. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you. Before we get started, please like, comment, share, subscribe, any or all, preferably all. I hope that you will. Um, and also make sure you do the same for the artist. I will link all um, the, the links in the description box below. If you have a request, please email them to me. Um, I do them first come first serve, serve. I do look at them, but it's a lot easier for me to keep up with the requests versus you putting them in the comments. If you put them in the comments, chances are it's going to get lost in translation. I will not see it. And I would hate for that to happen. So please, please, please make sure you email me those requests. Um, I got a request from Ron um, for Eva Cassidy, Over the Rainbow. Now, I know the song Over the Rainbow, right? Uh, but the little bit of snippet of, of information that I got about Eva Cassidy is that she actually died at 33 from cancer back in 1996. And even though she wasn't well known before um, she passed away, she became very well known after she passed away. And so um, there's not a whole lot of music, as I understand, for us to review. That's not my princess. That's not my wing girl. This is actually my wingman. That over there, that's Mr. Onyx. He's one of the brothers. We also have a great kitty named Smokey, and that's Mr. Onyx's brother. Um, they were attached at the hip when we got him, so we couldn't separate them. That would have just been cruel. So he's on the bed today. Uh, Miss Mittens is being her diva self. She'll decide if she wants to come and grace us with her presence later. <laughs> But anyway, I don't want to hold up any more time. I really would like to hear the song um, and, and really hear what is so unique about Eva Cassidy because I've never heard of her. So let's get started. She has such a soft and yet powerful voice. And I love how she's playing the guitar. Um, some of these songs came from a concert that she did before she died a few, like, I think it was almost a year before she died. And what was recorded was all done in black and white. That is what Ron had told me on this song when he emailed me the request. So, um, the song is a very old song, but it sounds a little bit more modern the way she's singing it, doesn't it? Can I just say that the expression on her face, I mean, I presume almost a year before she died, she already knew she had cancer. I don't know if that's the case or not, but I almost feel like she's singing a goodbye in this song. I don't know 
if that makes sense or not, but it almost feels like a farewell the way that she's singing this song. And it's, it's heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking. Let's go back. That you dare to dream Really do come true Someday I'll wish upon a star And wake up where the clouds are falling A beautiful voice. Where troubles melt like lemon drops Oh, way above the chimney tops That's away you find me First of all, that guitar solo clip was a beautiful thing, but the more and more that I'm listening to the song and the way that she's looking out, like she's not looking at the crowd, she's looking out, like she's looking beyond. I think she just knew. I really get the strong sense that she was kind of given a farewell. She may have not been well known, but for those who loved her, she wanted to to somehow say goodbye without saying it. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. It wouldn't surprise me if I was, but that's just what I'm getting. upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far
is so beautiful and heartbreaking. That is really beautiful and really heartbreaking all at the same time. And she was a beautiful woman. Um, it's really sad to hear when talents such as herself are taken from us so soon. Um, gosh, could you imagine how amazing she would be today? Anyway, um, if you like the content, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and you're all, uh, make sure you do the same for the artist. Um, even though she's not with us, uh, on the screen it says, uh, from Barbara and Hugh Cassidy, I assume these are parents. So let's show them how much Eva is loved. Uh, and that's going to do it for this one. So live your life fabulously and I will see you on the next one. Bye.